Hey everybody, it's Dean here. I wanted to talk to you for a little bit about the rapid leads method. I know some of you have asked about it. How does it work? Will it work for you? So I wanted to tell you a little bit about it because it can be incredibly frustrating trying to get leads and clients for your business. So I'm going to share with you my journey, my story and how I've used this method to build my business, but also used it to help other people break through and really get those clients. So uh, let me just walk you through a couple of slides. I'll chat around the slides and um, I'm sure if we're, if you're watching this on YouTube or wherever you're watching it, please do ask questions in the comments because I'll come back to those questions and answer them too. So, Brill. So, um, so, getting clients can feel a little bit like trying to find a needle in a haystack or try, getting leads can feel that way. It feels like there's tons of people everywhere, but you're trying to find that one person in that moment. And LinkedIn gives you the opportunity to reach 850 million people, but trying to find that one person who wants what you sell can feel tough. So that's why I talk about it as finding a needle in a haystack. And a lot of people I talk to, they've started their business because they've got expertise, they're a coach, they're a consultant, a social media marketer, a trainer, um, they sell their service, packaged services as expertise-driven services. They're, they're all passionate about what they do. And the vast majority of them thought or think that their expertise will just shine through and getting clients won't be a problem. In other words, the product sells itself. And, and, and that's not true. And it's frustratingly not true that people don't just pay attention to you. People are very busy. Uh, there's a lot of noise. And so it can feel like you're trying to find a needle in a haystack. In other words, somebody who needs what you sell. And actually, most people, their approach to this problem is, do you know what? I'm going to get down and dirty. I'm going to dive in that haystack, rummage through it and find those clients, those needles. And you think, well, OK, I get that. I get that. And actually, that's what most of the sales industry does. They're looking that they're, they're called hunters, hunters. And there's only two games in town. You either hunt clients or you attract them. And so many people I speak to, they didn't sign up to be a salesperson. You know, when they started their business, they had a great idea, great skills. But sales and marketing is something they knew they had to do but they didn't realize it would consume so much time consume so much of their energy mental energy physical energy emotional energy all of this stuff would just sap time and energy and they didn't sign up you didn't sign up to become a sales person a glorified salesperson tongue tied there so finding the needle in the haystack is the the only game in town um, people think the only game in town is dive in, the, dive in the haystack and hunt those needles down. But there's actually two games in town. There's two games in town. And it doesn't matter what, what social platform. It doesn't matter um, what, whether it's offline, online. There are two games in town. There is the chase and there is a tract. Chase is going diving into that haystack and finding the needles. Attract is a different model. Before I get to that, I'm going to show you something else. Why is it like finding a needle in a haystack? Well, let's just be real about this. This is an industry stat that at any given time, your target audience, just 3% are actively looking for a solution right now. doesn't matter what industry, what vertical. 3% are actively looking to buy a solution right now. 7% are looking to buy, but not seriously looking to buy. In other words, their motivation isn't high enough. Their threshold of motivated buyer is not high enough. Then you've got the remaining 90%, which are in various stages of they don't see the need, they don't understand their own need, they don't know they've got a problem, they have no interest, they're happily living with the problem. I'm sure you've met many, many people in what you do where they're living with the problem. I call it living with a limp. So there's 90% of your market are oblivious to it, not serious enough yet. 
It doesn't mean they're going to stay that way. It just means where they're at on this moment, at this moment in time, they're not in that place. Uh, they will be in the future. Not all of them, but some will. So we're dealing with about 10% of the market that are actually looking. So that's true for every industry. So the needle in the haystack I talked about is the chase, diving in and hunting for those people inside that, you know, rooting. Um, the alternative is attract. And think about it like this. Instead of diving in that haystack, instead of diving in there, we build a magnet that is powerful enough to draw those needles out to the surface of that haystack so we don't dive in get down and dirty with the cold outreach and sales pitching people we actually attract those people towards us that magnet is pretty powerful but if you design the magnet in the incorrect way it could its polarity could be wrong and it could it could be a great magnet but it's actually not getting the power it's not the right polarity to attract the, the needles the magnet might not be strong enough generally. So this magnet to attract people, to draw people to you, to bring you the leads has to be finely um, constructed so that it has the desired effect you want, i.e. leads that convert to clients. So this magnet, what is this magnet? Well, I'm going to let you into a secret. This magnet is two things it's your message and your system now as soon as i say the word message people go dean 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 i've got a message it's really powerful i've got a branding consultant i've really spent hours on it if it's not getting you leads it's not powerful enough or it's too complicated it's not clear it's not punching through the noise so the magnet is your message but it's also the system by which you draw, you collect and gather people and draw people through. So it's the message and it's the system. And you need both working together to bring consistent leads from your LinkedIn content. So I'll give you an example. On my 100 Leads in Six Weeks program, which is a LinkedIn program, I'll tell you about that in a, in a moment. We, we've got somebody on there who had the most powerful message, like really dialed in, really dialed in. And oddly enough, most people think uh, dialed in messaging is complicated. It's not. Dialed in messaging is simple. I'm going to show you in a second. Um, so that's the first thing. Really had a dialed in message, but the leads were not flowing or they were bouncing in slowly, not consistent. In our program, we help the focused on the system, 10 leads a day, 10 leads a day. Now, the inverse of that, um, somebody with really undialed, you know, undialed in, I don't know if that's a thing, um, uh, an unfocused message, brilliant systems, no results, zero results or the wrong results couple of wrong results people who are kind of mildly interested but don't have budget or uh, no incentive or imperative to buy so you're going wow so you've got two people with the same problem but at the same poor result but actually the cause is different message and system and those two together create a consistent flow of leads if you're not consistent with a system, and when I mean system, I mean something that will get you leads without you taking any uh, daily you know, action. Something that will bring you leads from content, it needs to be systemized. Not, you don't need ads. You don't need um, a big following if you've got a system. And I can take, and I have taken people with brand new LinkedIn accounts got their system up and running, got their message dialed in, and they're getting consistent leads in the first week of activity. The first week of action on LinkedIn, they're getting leads. Why? System and message. 
the magnet is working. It's built. It's performing. Yet I've seen other people who are trying this gimmick, this hack, this new uh, new shiny object, this thing, this thing, this thing, and getting nowhere. It's the two things together, the system and the message. And if they're off, they need work. So in the program I talked about, this is what we do. We help you build that magnet that will draw people to you. But we don't stop there. And I want to show you this because some of you, this is the this is will solve so much of your hassles around getting clients and leads. So let me touch break down what the audience uh, sorry the rapid lead method is. So phase one, you've got to build your audience value proposition. Find that message. So for you watching this today, you go, I've got my message. Okay, if you've got your message, go out there to LinkedIn and if you're getting consistent leads, great, fantastic, good luck, great job. But if you're not, the message needs work. The message has to be, rev has to resonate with your customer. It has to have the right polarity for the audience that you're trying to attract. If it doesn't, you'll attract either nobody or the wrong audience. So the audience value proposition helps you understand the perspective of your ideal client. In other words, what, how are they thinking about the problem? Because you and I are not like our clients. We've conquered the mountain that they're still struggling to climb. We've overcome the problems that they're frustrated by. So we have, fundamentally, we have a different worldview than our clients. So the problem comes is what we think is a great message actually isn't a great message for them because we're, I, I love the analogy of we've conquered the mountain. So we're stood at the top of the mountain. We've experienced that perilous journey to the top. Our clients are somewhere on that journey to the top. And so some of the things that they see looking up look scary and dangerous and we look from the top because we've already done that and go, you don't need to worry about that. But from their, perspe from their perspective, it looks scary and dangerous. And likewise, they're looking from the top up and going, oh, that looks safe and easy. And we know from the top that that's dangerous and scary. So we have a fundamentally different worldview than our clients. So the AVP process is to help you craft that message from your client's perspective because if we can craft it from their perspective and we resonate they engage they decide they want your help they signal to you help help i need your help so that's the first phase it's quite a process and quite a journey um, and we help people in our programs to understand this piece because when you do it changes everything then we have to create our master content. So from that AVP, we create this master content that we're going to rinse, absolutely rinse. I know that's a crude way of putting it, but once you get a message that resonates, you rinse it for every bit of value you can extract from it. If you look at how elections are won and lost, it's very often about one singular message that's been leveraged many different ways. This is the same in the rapid leads method. One simple message leveraged many different ways. And so we turn that master content piece into a couple of different assets that will help you bring in leads from people who need what you sell from that top end uh, of the pyramid, the top end group who are motivated, seeking a result, looking to make change. Then we systemize it so that they're coming in with the least amount of sales effort and the least amount of effort, daily effort on your part so that you can get on with doing the things in your business that matter and you've got leads coming through. So systemization becomes very important because that builds the predictability. Let me ask you this, this final one, the follow up, follow up and calls and systemization. If you are going outbound selling your services, that's a tough gig. That requires sales skills. That requires 
persistence, that requires effort, that requires selling. If they're inquire, people are inquiring in, if people are signaling to you that they need your help, do you need the same level of skill? Do you need to put the same level of persistence in? No, you don't. It's much easier to close somebody as a client if they've been engaged with you rather than you go out and get them. In other words, if you attract, they're easier to convert than if you chase. So fundamentally what we're doing is building a system to eliminate chasing and making it easier to attract and convert. This is what the rapid leads method is. And I help people like you implement this in their business. Now, I'll give you why I did this. Years ago, um, we just had a real rough patch in our business about five years ago, nearly five years ago. There was a, a business owner, business partner separation and the salesperson left, the big salesperson left the business. And it kind of left us in a very vulnerable position at the time. And I decided to implement this process and, and I worked out the maths that I needed 100 leads over the next six weeks. And I'd done a little test, the basics of this, and I'd got 14 leads in a couple of days. So I thought, I need to systemize. I need to systemize to convert. I need to systemize to convert. And so guess what I did? I systemized this whole process and generated 100 leads in six weeks. That gave me enough food to survive and thrive, and so I scaled it. I'm running this process myself, and our team run this process myself. In the last two weeks, I've generated 500 leads from this methodology. And by the 20th of October, I'll have generated another 1,000. Now, if you're starting out with a brand new LinkedIn account, you're not going to get 1,000 leads in six weeks. It's not going to happen. But if you're consistent, you can get leads weekly and build up. So um, once the system that I teach this whole process is implemented and built in your business, you will more than adequately have a supply of more than 100 leads every six weeks if you implement this program that I teach in full. So my challenge to you is if this sounds great, if this sounds good and you want to get consistent leads from your LinkedIn content and you want to build a system that will predictably build, bring you leads and take the friction away from selling, I want you to come on the 100 Leads in Six Weeks program. Yes, there's a basic entry that you can do which will get you all of the training and the live group coaching with me. So you come to calls and we talk about where we're up to. There's digital tutorials. So it's all done together, build it, not theory, you do it as part of the program, you build the system so you can launch it and start getting those leads before the end of the program. So this is what this program is about. It's not another thing that you're going to learn. It's something we're going to learn and do. So if you want consistent leads from your LinkedIn content, I want you to sign up for 100 leads in six weeks, which is what this program is designed to help you build. It will help you build a system that will bring you predictable leads. That's what it's all about. And if that sounds good to you, I want you to sign up today and join us in October for the next intake. There's limited places because we don't want to ram the group full of loads of people and then people get lost. We want it to be interactive and collaborative. So if you want in, there's limited places. If this is something you want, if this is some, some certainty you want to bring to your business, there's a link wherever you're watching this. If you're watching it on YouTube, there'll be a link below if you want to sign up. There's also a link there to book a call if you've got any questions or you want to see if it's right for you. That's there too. But the rapid leads method is something I swear by. It works in any business because it's not based on algorithms. It's based on human nature. And if you can appeal with a resonant message and have a simple system, you can scale and get consistent leads from LinkedIn.